Hey everybody, how are you doing? Um, I apologize for not having a video up last week. I recorded one with a horrible movie and I was gonna put it up and edit it, like edit it and put it up, but um, I could not do that. It was such a bad movie that it re like it actually affected me. It was bad in a different kind of bad way <laughs> to where I was thinking about it. So, like I'm still thinking about that movie now and it's pissing me off. It was so horrible. It was horrible. And I just couldn't, I couldn't just edit it the way I normally do these reaction things and just throw it up and have a day about it. Like I need to have a discussion about it and it might actually turn into a bad movie dissection discussion type thing because it's I have to rant about this movie to somebody and that's you so I think that'll be up next week that is the plan right now we'll we'll close out February with that move yeah with that movie which sucks because it's the day after my birthday but whatever in the meantime uh we're gonna watch this Fateful Findings today. Is that what this is called? Yeah, Fateful Findings. We're going to watch this today. And next month, the... was it? Like, the movie um, about the room that you guys mentioned in the comment section of that video. I'm going to watch that, and that'll be the first movie that's up in March. Anyway, we're going to watch this Fateful Findings. I know nothing about this. I know Kenny. Uh, Kenny J.D. She does bad movies in a beat here on YouTube. I know she did a video about it, but I didn't watch it because I had heard about this, but I haven't seen anything yet. So um, if you won't watch her, she's amazing. I'll link her channel down below. When I when I tell you what that movie is, you're going to be like, oh, because <laughs> I guarantee you've heard of it. Guarantee it. OK, let's watch this one. Look, Leah, a mushroom. <laughs> We're still holding the shot? What? It must mean something. It's buried treasure. It's not even buried, it was we sitting can't there. The box empty. There we go. It's a magical day. <laughs> Where'd that notebook come from? They neither one of them had anything in their hands. Just gonna run them over. Call 911. Call 911. Yeah. Is like, he dead? He's just laying like this. Is he dead? It's the Rolls Royce that hit him. I saw it. I'm a witness. Well, it's sitting right there covered in blood. Oh, were these legs supposed to? I'm imagining the directions in the script. Look at his breathing. Like, all you see is a sexy pair of legs and heels. Is that carpet? That is not a hospital blanket. It is way too clean and beige. We saw his injuries right after the accident. And it was like a cut and a little bit of abrasion or whatever. What's with the whole thing? We saw him immediately after and it was like nothing. Dr. Rosen. Yes, this is Dr. Allen. I'm at your patient's bed and he's not here. And no one's noticed. Did you discharge him? I'm very confused right now. It's like they wanted to be Phantom of the Opera, but bad. And also, anyone who sees this would be like, take your ass back to the hospital. What are you doing? As a matter of fact, He's working at his desk on his next book. And she's still in this one spot. He's walked home, taking a shower, had some afternoon delight, taking a nap, gotten up, gotten dressed, taken off the head piece, put something else on, and she's still in the same spot. <laughs> you don't have sex anymore. Do you realize that? Where did that come from? It has been months. What's happened? Where did that come from? <laughs> You're my wife. They improvise. I, I want to share that with you. Where are my pills? That's typing. I'll get them for you. What is happening? Wait, what? 
Thank you. Where'd the sound go? Is it? I don't need okay. these. I'm not gonna take these anymore. Okay, so you could just like toss them. Don't do that. Why is everyone talking? No. So. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've got to get this work done. <laughs> Why do they say the same things over and over? It's going to shock the world. I've hacked into just about all the information I need. They have no idea. I'm done talking. <laughs> Did they stop the conversation? Why do you keep throwing computers on the floor? Why? Y'all were just arguing about her addiction and... All of that throwing shit all over the place. Oh, thank God there wasn't a love scene. Thank you, Jesus. She's the Blair Witch. You were given a power. It's in the wind. Wait. Be careful. Wait a minute. They will harm you. You know? Because she's a witch. About it? Why'd you split up your sentence like that? You just carry that same notebook around with you. It doesn't have any extra writings in it. Is this yours? <laughs> yes. It's just something I've been carrying. Yeah, I always been down and kneel. Super. Oh my god. Is that you? It's me. What? It is, isn't it? I tend to be It's me. you. She kind of reminds me of Mila Jovovich. Is that her name, whatever, from Resident Evil? Holly. You're home, Arlie. We're only halfway through this. Why did you do this shot of her? <laughs> or you could have just backed out and closed the door. That's what a non-predator person would do. I'm gonna shoot this damn car up full of holes. No, no, no! I can't believe you committed suicide. <laughs> I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? Oh my God. I know I'm not afraid of, just give me a I second. I can't help you out of this one, Jim. With all we've been through, I can't pull you out of this one. Yeah, cause he's dead. I pushed him at the barbecue. About? Over the edge. He wasn't a bad person. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Girl, how, I'm, what? Coupled with the problems we have between us, at home. And they're supposed to be about the same age. They're supposed to be about the same age. Maybe a couple years apart because they spent a summer together. How the hell are we supposed to believe this old ass, Botox injected, skin pulled and tightened man supposed to be the same age as this woman? Did she pick it up and put it next to her? A nice dignified death. Your girlfriend was dying while you were cheating on her. But who cares? You got your happy ending. Oh god, this is gross. This is like a very bad commercial for some kind of product I don't want to buy. It was you. What? I know it was you. What? What was her? I'm confused. What was her? Anyway, the deaths of his best friend and his girlfriend <laughs> served just to show him grieving people. I bet.
that he, he and the guy from the room would have a fascinating conversation. It's just peroxide. It'll just clean out your nostrils. That's okay. That's how you do it? <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Now he can materialize no. two feet? No. No. It would be funny if he tried this, but he went through and she didn't. And she just got stuck in there still. Let's go. Invisible people. I saw them too, Dylan. Should I be afraid? <laughs> That's the wrong time to be asking. Should we be afraid? Um, the internet is no longer here. I told you she was a witch. And this one square room with fold out chairs in her purple dress. Dirty. We can't let anything happen to him. Did we report the kidnapping? Is what I want to know. I have discovered more information than any hacker ever has. Ever. That's bold. Ever. What I have found will shock you. The people who elected me deserve someone who cares about them and the this country. This is his best friend right here. Has to be. Many of my other... Goodbye. Another one. Are they just allowing them to like Today, step up and shoot themselves? I, I, I like her hair color. And other insurance companies are about to be Indicted he said, for crimes I we committed. And other insurance the companies. People. You are an insurance company. You might Deserve represent one, better. but like not my and other I. Our crimes well. are about to be disclosed. Well. You will be shocked and amazed at what I have here. right next to him, you can see it. It was next to him, you can see this happening. Who's mowing this grass? I'm so confused. What did it help him with? It didn't help him heal quickly. It didn't, did it give him like knowledge or help him? Is that what the moving of the stuff on the desk was? Like, I'm so confused of how this thing helped him. It just made him see things other people couldn't. I, I'm just, this was awful. I love it. <laughs> Written, produced, and directed by Neil, Neil Breen. You think? I had no idea. I would never guess this was all done by one person. Neil Breen. Just. You can say what you want to about the room. You can say what you want to about the room. At least that had a kind of plot and things going on. It may have been horribly acted and horribly written and the staging or whatever didn't make sense, but at least you knew what the story was. You knew you knew what the story was. This was horrible. This was so this was way worse. I'm, there's no way this is better than the room. Nope. At least you knew what the plot was and how and why. There were things that didn't need to be there and like, it was like, what kind of sense does this make? It, it didn't make logical sense, but this... So, let me get this straight. He outed people in government entities, like that, this wasn't even a major plot of the movie. And they just allow them to go up there one by one and off themselves in front of television cameras and nobody, there's a sniper trying to shoot him and no police, they're having a press conference, there's no police officers or nobody like seeing this guy with a 
a, a sniper rifle in the bush who's apparently like close enough for him to see because he was like okay he killed himself it, it like backfired apparently uh who kidnapped what's her face the girl i don't even know what any of the women's names were who kidnapped her i'm assuming it was to stop him from doing his research but they never even said that or had a follow-up or reported it apparently and the ex-girlfriend calling the shrink the witch person who i said was a witch person because she's sitting there in purple velvet that's hot and he's like are you going to another psychiatrist yeah you were you lied mr good guy what was the purpose of the of the teenage girl hitting on him there was none he just wanted to be alone with another pretty woman. I do not buy that him and his new girlfriend are the same age whatsoever. How are they hanging out one summer and this motherfucker looks 70, 74, 61 years old. A hard looking 61 with Botox, okay? There isn't even any information on what the budget was for this movie. <laughs> I don't, okay, description. A small boy discovers a mystical power as a child he found a cube then he is then separated from his childhood girlfriend he grows up to be a computer scientist who is hacking into the most secret national and international whatever secrets okay as well as being an acclaimed novel writer this girl childhood girlfriend mystically on his hospital deathbed oh he's re reunited with her as his relationship with his current drug addict girlfriend is deteriorating the passions build between the threesome. Mystical, psychiatric, and worldly forces rise to prevent him from revealing the hacked secrets. Did they though? Did anything really rise to prevent him from... Nothing really happened to him. Everyone around him seemed to be dropping like flies or getting kidnapped. But nothing actually happened to him. He attempts to reveal all in a Washington DC large press conference with fateful and dangerous consequences for who not for him again at no time did he ever seem to be any danger danger i'm assuming it's because of these mystical forces that were around him everybody else is screwed this was awful how does this have four stars on what how four stars out of 177 people you know what those are people like me who are looking for bad movies and like you have to watch this the guy who wrote the room, I don't know how to say his last name, is is it Wiseau, Wiseau, whatever. This is astonishingly, Breen seems to understand the mechanics and psychology of sex even less than Wiseau does. Wiseau at least seemed to have seen at least a few cinematic erotic thrillers and surmise that Rose's forgettable R&B music, sexy red dresses, and ass thrusting are essential to the act of making love. The sex scenes and fateful findings feel like they were ghost written by a 10 year old boy who has yet to be given the facts of life speech and imagines that babies are the product of two adults awkwardly hugging each other, standing up, sometimes in a shower with one party, rocking on a dinner plate sized banjo, <laughs> with one party rocking a dinner si size plate, I can't even read, Dinner plate size bandage on his face and sometimes in the presence of the many laptops that are Fightful Finding's primary set dressing. Right? What's with the laptops? Wiseau made a movie about the duplicity of women and the tragic futility of being a nice guy. Plot. Breen made a movie about everything, including magic. <laughs> this is a great review and I'm going to link it down below so you can read it it was so bad it makes the room look really good you know i don't even care with even without this the room i like i would watch it again you know, i would watch it again i'm not watching this one this was stupid it most of the plots if you even want to call them that i don't even know don't belong there they make no sense like what's with the teenage girl thing why and then she tells him at the end that the stepmom killed her dad but doesn't tell the police and we don't even see what happens after that we don't even ha there was no reason for it to even know that whole family there was no reason the sole reason was for that drunk 
friend of his to kill himself so we could be reminded that he's losing people but not because of what he's doing he, it was just because they're awful and then the scene at the table when the drunk guy you know is being drunk and nobody wants to hear about your project or whatever he's like I want to know about her project like, seriously dude you're like 80,000 years old of course you do you're old oh my god I just okay boomer a movie I'm glad I experienced it it seems like the more I watch movies, the lower the bar gets. I'm sorry, like, I've had two now since the room, and it's getting lower. This is the new low for me. This is the new low. Yep. From now on, it's not the room. Does it compare to Fateful Findings as the bottom? Because this is the bottom. All the truths. All the secrets. <laughs> There were so many pauses for no reason. There were so many pauses. And just like I just repeated myself in those two sentences, that happened multiple times in this movie. Why did you have to repeat yourself so much? I'm done. I hope you have a great day. Yep. That's it. I will see you next week. Bye.